What's up, YouTube? Y'all doing good? You good? You good? I'm good. You good? Okay, good. All right, so today is December 13th, day 13 of Vlogmas. I'm in the car because um, I told y'all yesterday I had to go to Selma, Alabama to take this test. Um, I'm mad because it's my own fault. I was supposed to leave around 6.30. It is now 6.52. Um, I said I was going to leave early and that didn't happen, but this morning I just didn't want to get in the bed. I kept hitting the snooze. I didn't want to get out of the bed. I kept hitting the snooze button and I didn't take into account, okay, once I get to the school, I need to find out where I'm going because the girl, the lady, she told me where I meant to go, where I was supposed to go tomorrow, but uh, where I was supposed to go today. She told me yesterday, but I forgot. Wasn't taking into account that. Wasn't really taking into account the traffic that might be there, so they might push it back even further. And then I wasn't taking in fact taking into consideration that uh, it's really cold outside and I need to let this car warm up and I don't know about y'all but like when it's like this but like when it's like this it's worse than just how it normally is because they're sticking on it so that's gonna take a while to come off and it's really cold outside I'm pretty sure y'all can see the the stream of smoke it's, it's not called smoke but y'all know what I'm talking about coming out of my mouth so anyway I'm about to see and let this um car warm up and then I'm gonna get my GPS and stuff set up because I do not know where I'm going so um I guess I'll I'll update y'all per periodically. What's up, y'all? I'm about an hour away now. Um, it's taking me on a lot of back. I, I guess he's gonna say the back or country roads. But uh, yeah, I just want to come do a quick update. I'm about an hour away now. It says I should be arriving at 8:46. Um, so I should be good as far as like once I get there and then trying to find out where I need to go. So um, I just be back to check in later. Now I'm really close to being there. It is currently 8:26. Um, they had to, there's road work that's being done, and so that's what kind of slowed up the process. And then on top of that, the, um, the person who's supposed to be proctoring my exam, she just called me, and she said that the email that my school sent her is not what they typically admit, admit, administer for this test. So I don't know, I'm going to have to wait until I get to the school, and then I'm going to call my instructor. He's like, I really do. I just, I want everything. I'm so tired of this right now. I just want everything to work out. And it's just, it's not going that way. So, um, I will uh, update y'all once I get to the school. I was going to go ahead and try to call her on my way here, but I don't know. Maybe she needed me to do something. But I'll just wait until I get to the school. And, um, I'll be back. I just arrived. I'm about to go in and see where it is exactly that I'm supposed to be in. And I'll talk to y'all later. Alright, I am in the building that I need to be in. Now I just got to find the teacher. She said she was on the second floor, so... Hopefully I can uh, find her, but um, she gave me the wrong number, but I forgot, so we're going to see how this works out. I'm done with the test, and I'm so mad. Like, I knew something. Like, it, it just wouldn't be right if something, it wouldn't be me if something didn't go wrong. So I went in there, and I told y'all about how I called in there. Well, the woman called me, and she told me that she received the, um, the wrong information. She said, this is not what we usually administer. And, um... Basically what happened is they pulled up the instructions based off of what the lady, what the school sent her. And they sent her the information for the um, the test that I took last week at the other co at the other school that I went to. So um, we had to contact her and she was like, well, we don't have anything to do with that. You would have to um, contact your instructor. Because when I sent my instructor that message yesterday, I copied her. I sent it to my instructor and then I copied her in it. Because I guess like she's in charge of like the, um, like that section. She's like over that section. Of, I don't know. Anyway, I copied her on it, and my instructor never responded. But my teacher, but the uh, other lady, she did. And so she sent the stuff for the MFT exam that I took last week. Anyway, when I got off the phone with her, the uh, my proctor, she was like, I can give you the exam, but do you have a voucher? And I never realized, my teacher up here had apparently sent it to me, but I never um, looked at it. So I was like, I'll just buy one. And then um, she asked me about a, a classroom code, and that's when I went to my messages on Canvas, and I had the voucher and the um, code. But anyway, for one, I don't think there was, it, the test was only, it had a 50 minute time limit, limit on it, which I don't think that was long enough. Then I had got almost done, with, almost done with the test, y'all. I had like two and a half minutes left, which it probably wouldn't have made a difference anyway, because I had seven projects total, total that I had to do. Um, at the time I had like two and a half minutes left, it was only, um, I still had two projects remaining and there's some kind of error message popped up and we ended up calling customer support, stayed on the phone with them for about 10 minutes and she told us to restart and all this kind of stuff. And then once we got back on, it gave me the same, uh, message, the same error message. So we called him back and the lady, she was like, either he can just go ahead and, um, submit it as is and, uh, cause it, apparently if I kept going back in on that same computer, um, it will keep giving me the same message or I can log on to another um, computer and um, 
and just start the whole test over. So I didn't want to do that. So I just completed what I was. Um, I gotta go in and see what percentile I'm in, as for which I know I probably didn't do really good on this test. But I'm just happy this test is over with. I'm doing relatively good in this class, so hopefully this will not hurt me too bad. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and head on down the road. It's 10:59. And um, I told him I will try to be at break by 11.30, but it doesn't matter. So I, hopefully I'll be there by 12.30. I don't know. Anyway, and I got to go back home because um, I meant the, I was going to bring my work shirt with me. Proceed to highlighted route. Hush. I was going to bring my work shirt with me and I forgot. So I still got to stop home, stop by home and change into my, um, my work shirt. So I'm about to go home. Um, I will talk to y'all later. I'll probably go ahead and take my other exam tomorrow when I get off of work. Um, yesterday... At the at the um at the Christmas party we had, um, my instructor, not my instructor. See, I'm still in school mode. Um, my manager, my manager, she was like, if you want to come and work all day tomorrow, because I was only supposed to work 11 to 2:15, I believe. Yeah. Um, she told me I can work all day tomorrow if I want to. So I'm about to get these extra hours because uh, there was an opportunity for for me to work all day this past Monday, but I couldn't do it because I had stuff I had to do. So I'm about to go home. I don't know. I was gonna. I said that I was gonna try to um work what I missed, but I don't know, I might just work until, I was supposed to work 8 to 4, and I said I was going to try to catch up, it says I should be there, well, see, I'm, I put in my address to go home, it said I should be there by 12 o'clock, so I probably want to get there until 1, so I might work from like maybe 1 to 6, so I don't know, but um, I'll just check in with y'all later. What's up y'all, so I'm home now, Um, after I left work, I ended up getting off, I got off work at 6, it's uh, 7.06 now. Um, I went to Walmart, and then I um, stopped at my sister's house, so I just got home, and um, I'm about to get in the shower. I just feel really, really, really dirty. So I'm about to get in the shower and um, take me a good shower. And um, I'm about to make some of these um, these cheese biscuits. Well, this is the cheese and garlic kind. I used to eat these all the time. And I was, well, the, the regular cheese kind. They didn't have the, um, this is just the cheese. This is the cheesy garlic. Um, they didn't have the regular cheese biscuits. But, um, wait a minute. Yeah. They didn't have the regular cheese kind at Walmart. Um, I wasn't even thinking about those things until my sister said something about them uh, yesterday, and uh, that made me want some. So I'm gonna cook those while I'm in the. Um, how long do I have to cook? So I know how much time I got. Uh, ooh, eight to eleven minutes. So I, maybe I can pull it off. But um, I wasn't even thinking about these things until my sister said something about them, and so I went, while I was in Walmart, I stopped and got some. And um, what else did I do? And Mama cooked. Uh, she made some fried fish yesterday. Um, fried fish fillets. And um, since she cooked that last night, and since um, I went to the Christmas party, we had our Christmas party at Ruby Tuesday, I didn't eat anything. So um, there's a lot, she cooked a lot of it. So um, I got that, so I'm gonna eat that to go with it. And I think she made some hush puppies too. I think so. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I'm about to mix these up really quick, put those in, and uh, get in the, hop in the shower really quick. And I got some french fries to go with it. I got the checker, checkers, uh, seasoned fries, got those. And I wanted to try this. Um, now I love the Simply Lemonade, and um, I tried the Simply Peach uh, a couple of days ago, and I wanted to try this um, this Simply Tropical trop Tropical Punch. Um, I'm a little lit down by this. It's um, it's really sweet. But um, anyway, y'all, I'm about to just uh, make these up and take me a good shower, and I'll talk to y'all later. So I have eaten, and now I'm in the process of ironing my outfit for tomorrow for work which is i've said this before i really hate ironing and i'm so mad because i could have took this stuff i could have took some of my outfits to the cleaner this week um i mentioned in one of my vlogs earlier which on day one of vlogmas i realized why everything wasn't um turning like it turning out like it was supposed to i was gonna combine day one and day two because i never ended day one so now when i try to edit that vlog i gotta get that fixed but uh, I'm just about to iron this up, and then I'll be done for the night. Um, I'm gonna try to get some, uh, at least one vlog edited tonight. But I'm just really not, I'm really not feeling it. Um, I've been up since 5:30 this morning, and I'm really tired. And in between all that driving that I had to do, and um, then I got off work, worked a lot, and then now I'm by this time I'm just I'm drained. But um, we'll see how that works out in a little bit. But I'm about to iron these pants, and I hate. Uh, well, let me not say that. I love these pants. But they are a very, they're very thick texture. Now these, um, 
these are by Hagger too. And um, I think I mentioned this earlier in one of my other brand, in um, one of my other vlogs, or it may have been, it may have been one of the vlogs that I, I decided never to upload. But I love Hagger pants, specifically. Oh, specifically the um. I like the brand. I like the pants. They're very nice quality. But um, I love their no iron pants. I have two. No, I have three now. Um, they are truly, truly no iron. Like, you can take them straight out the dryer, hang them up, and you'll be good to go. You don't have to iron them. Um, I love those. So, eventually, all of my work pants are going to be hacker. Because um, I do think they have some that are like these that um, are no hacker. So, I want to get a pair of those. I need to give me just like a basic black color. Um, I have some. They're like a... It's like black, but like it's kind of like mixed in, like gray is mixed in. I don't know, but I want to get some of those. So officially, I mean, they, eventually all of my pants are going to be the no iron pants, which I saw some on their website. They were really nice, but they were dry clean only. So I think I'm going to get, get those for me as um maybe a gift for myself. And also, I need to get me a new pair of dress shoes. And I need a new pair of tennis shoes because the tennis shoes, the last pair I bought, which is the ones that I went to, um that I bought when I was going to New York, um, those are pretty much my work shoes now. Like, I wore them to work today because all my other work shoes are, um, they've worn out. So, I need to get me a new pair of dress shoes and a new, um, a new pair of tennis shoes. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to finish up ironing and, um, I will talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all, it's actually the next day. I fell asleep and forgot to end this vlog. So, nothing really went on. Like, I laid down and went to sleep before I was actually trying to. So I believe that's why I feel so energized tonight because I went to bed I believe before 9 o'clock. So that was really good. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Can y'all even see me with this window? I don't know. You, you may not even, might not be able to see me, but you can hear me though. So that's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave me a nice comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell button so every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.